So, what do you like to listen to? Music? Podcasts? Maybe the sound of rain or the crackling of a campfire. But what about listening to the ocean? Not the familiar crash of waves on the shore, but sounds captured deep on the cold ocean floor. Sounds that send chills down your spine. Sounds of something big, dark, and possibly alive. And the most unsettling part is this. The true nature of some of these sounds remains a complete mystery to this day. In 1997, something strange echoed through the Pacific Ocean. Deep beneath the surface, far off the coast of South America, a sound appeared so powerful that it instantly unsettled scientists. It was ultra-low in frequency, massively loud, and unlike anything recorded before. The signal was later given a simple name, the bloop. At first glance, the bloop sounds harmless, almost playful. But what it represented was anything but. It was so intense that it could be detected by sensors nearly 3,000 miles away. Imagine standing in New York and hearing something happening in Los Angeles. Now imagine that noise travel through deep ocean water, terrifying marine life and oceanographers. Whatever produced it had to be enormous. The signal carried patterns that felt like its source was some living creature. Whales were the first suspects, but even the blue whale, the largest animal in the world, simply couldn't generate a sound that loud. The numbers didn't add up, and that's when speculation took over. If something could produce the bloop, it would have to be larger than anything swimming in today's oceans. People began imagining creatures of impossible size, ancient sea monsters, the kraken. Some even whispered about the megalodon a prehistoric giant shark thought to have gone extinct millions of years ago, and featured in dozens of videos right here on the Bright Side. The mystery only grew deeper when scientists mapped the approximate location of the sound's origin. It came from a region close to Point Nemo, the most remote place on Earth. This spot in the Pacific Ocean lies more than a thousand miles away from the nearest land in every direction. It's so isolated that it's often called the oceanic pole of inaccessibility. Point Nemo is a place few humans will ever see. Because of its remoteness, it has become a kind of graveyard for defunct satellites and space debris. When spacecraft are decommissioned, they are often guided to fall into these waters. It's quiet, empty, almost untouched, and yet something powerful had screamed from nearby. For fans of cosmic horror, this detail felt oddly familiar. In the fictional universe of writer H.P. Lovecraft, the ancient sunken city of Relye lies beneath the ocean near this very region. According to the stories, Relye is where the monstrous entity Cthulhu sleeps. It's a powerful, scary, intelligent creature lying dormant for thousands of years, ready to awaken and bring about the end of the world. Of course, Cthulhu is pure fiction. Lovecraft never claimed otherwise. But once the internet made the connection, the idea took on a life of its own. But science eventually caught up. The bloop recording is still easy to find online. You can listen to it yourself. But it sounds so innocuous that you'll probably be disappointed. And today, we know with certainty that it didn't come from a living creature. Researchers later confirmed that the sound was produced by ice, specifically by an ice quake. Now, ice quakes occur when enormous icebergs fracture, crack, and break away from glaciers. When this happens, they release tremendous amounts of energy, generating ultra-low frequency sounds that can travel across entire ocean basins. These sounds are similar to biological calls, especially when recorded from far away and distorted by water. In fact, scientists compared the bloop to other known icequake recordings and found striking similarities. The source wasn't a monster. It was Antarctica itself during shifting, breaking, and reshaping. For many people, this idea brought mixed emotions. On forums like Reddit, some openly admitted they preferred the idea of a giant unknown life form. Yup. Another strange sound was captured in the early 1980s, 
deep in the South Pacific during a scientific expedition near New Zealand. Researchers were exploring the South Fiji Basin, where the ocean floor lies more than two and a half miles beneath the surface. There were short, sharp, repeating noises echoing through the water. Four distinct bursts, each one sounding uncannily like a duck's quack. So researchers called it the bio duck. The sound was rhythmic and consistent. Eventually, the team concluded that the source had to be biological. But identifying exactly what made the sound proved impossible. After sharing the data with colleagues in Australia, did they realize something even stranger? Similar sounds had been recorded in other parts of New Zealand and Australian waters. Decades later, the mystery remains unsolved. Some scientists believe the quacks may not be random at all. They could be a form of communication. Perhaps the sounds may come from Antarctic minke whales, though no direct proof exists. Scientists also noticed that there were several sources of sounds, and when one source spoke, the others fell silent, as if they were listening. It may have been a conversation echoing through the deep in a language we still don't understand. Imagine a terrifying alarm blaring inside a secret laboratory announcing that a monster from another planet has broken free. It's an ugly sound, loud, piercing, and oppressive, the kind that makes your skin crawl. In August of 1991, scientists recorded something eerily similar. Not in a lab, but deep beneath the Pacific Ocean. Across vast areas of the ocean, a strange, repeating signal began to appear at different times. It consisted of narrow, rising tones that lasted several seconds each. Researchers named this sound upsweep. It's detected most often during the spring and fall, leading scientists to believe it may be connected to seasonal environmental changes or changes in the source itself. But what exactly was producing it? No one knows for sure. The only thing scientists can say, with confidence, is that upsweep appeared near areas of suspected volcanic activity. But if this sound is natural, why does it seem so precise, so consistent? It almost feels artificial, as if a secret underwater facility is periodically broadcasting a distress signal from the depths of the ocean. Since its discovery in 1991, the upsweep signal has gradually weakened making it one of the strangest and most unexplained phenomena ever recorded beneath the ocean. Now, there's another mysterious sound known simply as slow down. True to its name, the signal steadily decreases in frequency over seven minutes before fading into complete silence. It was recorded in May 1997 on a hydrophone array located in the eastern equatorial Pacific Ocean. At first, slow down doesn't seem especially loud. But here's the chilling part. It was picked up by three separate sensors placed nearly 3,100 miles apart. Imagine how deafening and terrifying it was near the source itself. So what caused it? The most widely accepted theory suggests that a massive drifting iceberg slowly came to a stop and ran aground. The idea is surprisingly plausible. A colossal block of ice is scraping along the seafloor, grinding forward until it finally halts. The location supports this theory as well, since the sound originated near shallow waters and small islands. Because of this, many scientists classify slow down alongside the bloop as a cryogenic noise caused by ice. Still, it remains just a theory. Officially, the sound has never been identified. And there's yet another eerie recording from the ocean. This one sounds like a moan, but scientists named it Whistle. Go figure. It was recorded in 1997 and gives the unsettling impression that something enormous is sitting on the ocean floor and whistling. Researchers believe that something could be an underwater volcano. When they compared the whistle signal to previously recorded volcanic sounds from the eastern Pacific, they found them very similar to each other. Most likely, all these sounds are of a natural source. 
volcanic eruption or iceberg collision. But it's still pretty scary to hear something like this while driving. It would be especially unpleasant to be directly above an erupting underwater volcano. Well, yeah. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.